I'm gonna present you today an unusual video for us how to save money on your energy bill you know how to save money from the, your power bill how to conserve some energy to save it for later or to use it in various purposes so the first thing that you have to do if you want to save energy remove or replace your bulbs like a filament one with the LEDs one you're gonna be amazed how much these devices can save and after you're gonna tweak with them you're gonna search you're gonna experiment with various um, LED bulbs because not all of them are good you're gonna find that you're gonna make some savings and because winter is approaching you have to save as much as I can on electric you know to divert it to the heaters and and so on but besides this one the second important thing is this one it's called a watt meter basically what it does is measure it has here a plug because it's in UK now it has this kind of but in your country could be having European style or American style or whatever just this plug is is different but the way the, the device is working the same thing you can check with this one various appliances just put it in and you're gonna plug your appliances here and you're gonna see how many watts of power or amps or so is that your device is consuming why I'm saying this one because if you want to save energy you have to the easiest and dumb proof way is to remove or unplug your unwanted items from the domain do not let them sit there for hours and hours days and months and so on because you're gonna make savings so if you're gonna find your devices that you're not using them uh, like every day just in a while like a washing machine or like a how to say laptop charger that's daily but even so on if you're gonna find the device that it's uh, it's always plugged in but you're not using it all the time with the difference of unplugging that device you could have running this bulb 24 7 one year long without costing you a dime yeah okay so now let's go to the washing machine and see how much power is consuming yeah all right folks as you can see we have here the washing machine which is a uh, in the seat doesn't matter the brand this device is unplugged now yeah we're gonna pop him the watt meter turn on the plug it's on it's gonna do some stuff this is the voltage we're gonna plug in the washing see it's pip 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 normally now is the the sound that's making when you're finishing uh, your washing your clothes okie dokie now let's turn it on off sorry boom 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 all right so now it's off but because you lift this one plugged all the time you're losing energy let's go to the function amps watts here you go folks now the washing machine is turned off but it's still drawing 1.6 watts see 1.6 watts an hour with her turned off let's turn it on so raising up 2.9 turn it off okay, okay. now you can see uh, although the washing machine is uh, turned off it's still drawing 1.6 watts see and now if you're gonna unplug the washing machine which is not necessary if you have this kind of plugs uh, with um, the button on it just turn them off here you go folks now the washing machine is not drawing no more power from the wall so make the math 1.5 watts lived here in the wall 24 7 30 days a week a month 12 months a year you should do the math to see how much energy and money and electricity you are wasting 
Okay, so let's move to another device, the laptop charger. Alright folks, so now we have the laptop charger adapter which is not plugged into the laptop, it's just sitting on the floor here. And as most of you do it like I did it before as well, you know, lift it, let it plugged for days and days and so on. And it's got this indicator light that show is working. Okay, now let's unplug and plug in the wattmeter to see if we can save some energy. Now it's zero because there's nothing connected. We're gonna plug in the device, which is not plugged to the laptop. And we can see here, this one is drawing 0 0.6 watts of power, 24 seven, 30 days a month, 12 month a year. So this is drawing this power for 364 days a year, non-stop, no matter if you're using it or not. But uh, the same as showed previously, if we're gonna turn off the plug, that's it folks, zero, zero, nothing. So again, you saved some energy that can be reversed to another device that you can use like lights and, and so on. Let's see, still it's drawing power 0 0.6 yeah so do the math and we'll see what's gonna be happening afterwards here you go folks another device this is an electric charger a wireless charger for your toothbrush plugged in and left it in the plug for a long time you can see it's drawing 0 0.6 watts an hour so again do the calculation and you're gonna see how much energy you can uh, conserve or save money as well if you're gonna not left this one plugged in for a very long time so it is 0 0.6 watts of power okay so there you have it folks with this simple device you can make savings you can see your appliances how much power is drawing you can put some money aside for winter for holidays and so on thanks all for watching do buy one of these and see you next time. Cha-chang!